Hello everyone and welcome back to another Met Project presentation. Today we'll be discussing the anatomy of the skull. Here we have a clear picture of the skull and in the following slides we will highlight important anatomical structures and features related to the skull. The skull can be broken down to the cranium which protects the brain and the facial bones. Furthermore, the cranium can be divided into the calvaria, also known as the skull cap, and base of the skull, which is made up of five cranial bones, including the ethmoid, sphenoid, occipital, paired frontal, and paired temporal bones. Likewise, the calvaria can also be divided into the following five bones. The frontal bone, the parietal bone, the sphenoid bone, temporal squamous, which is the exterior flat part of the temporal bone, and the squamous occiput, which is the flat lower part of the skull. Extra bones of the skull. Although these bones are not usual, they are not rare. Such bones are called Wormian bones, also known as intersutural bones or sutural bones, and are extra bone pieces that can occur within a suture, which are the immovable fibrous joints in the skull. Please note that these bones mostly occur in the course of the lambdoid suture. Next, we will mention the five main sutures in the calvaria, which include the coronal suture, the sagittal suture, the squamous suture found in between the parietal and temporal bones, the lambdoid suture, and the metopic suture. The most prominent anatomical feature of the newborn skull are the fontanelles. There are four fontanelles present at birth, which include the anterior fontanelle, the posterior fontanelle, the paired mastoid fontanelle, and the paired sphenoid fontanelle. Take note that there's also sometimes a fifth fontanelle called the third fontanelle, which is not common. There are five areas pertaining to the calvaria you must know. Tyrian, Inian, Lambda, Asterian, and Bregma. Here is a clear illustration of those five areas. Pause the video if you'd like and have a closer look. Let's talk about the tyrian, which is part of the important external anatomy of the skull. The tyrian is found in the temporal fossa. Tyrian is the region where the frontal, sphenoid, temporal, and parietal bones meet. Tyrian localization can be described as 3.5 cm from the lower lateral edge of the eyebrow going to the posterior direction, then a 2 cm perpendicular line in the superior direction. Moving on, there are also five lines in the calvaria that are important. The superior temporal line, the inferior temporal line. It is important to know that these two lines are the origin of the temporalis muscle. The highest nuchal line, the superior nuchal line, and the inferior nuchal line. The nuchal lines I just mentioned are areas of attachment for the suboccipital muscles. This concludes today's presentation. Feel free to leave a like and share this video and subscribe to Met Project for more content in the future.